Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Okay, so it's that time. It's haul time, y'all. <laughs> it's just enough is enough, okay? Your girl. It's like I don't even want to fix my mouth to say I'm on a no buy. I don't. I don't because the hottest palette might drop tomorrow, and y'all know. Y'all know your girl. But. Let's just say I'm officially on a low buy, okay? Especially with the holiday coming up. Y'all know they're going to be dropping stuff left and right. So, anyways, yeah. I'm, I'm on a, I say that every time I do a haul video, huh? I'm on a low buy. I know, it's a mess. It's because uh, I got a lot of stuff, y'all. I got a lot of stuff. So, the guilt does kick in after a while. But, anyway, if you're here... Just because you like to see different types of makeup, new makeup, what's out, what's popping, what's not. Or if you just want to be nosy and see what I got. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to jump in, show it to you, tell you what it is. Because I don't remember the prices of everything. Sometimes I might not remember where I got something. But I'm just going to show it to you so you can see it. Maybe you see something that you want, that you like, that you already have. And you want to be like... Hey, KK, you going to love that or hey, you going to hate it. Just go ahead and sound off in the comments, okay? But yeah, some of these items I have used and I will say my thoughts if I have any on the product. Other stuff I haven't even used yet. So I'm going to start off with my palettes, of course, with my love. Y'all know I love palettes. So I'm going to start off with my palettes and just show you what I got. And this is over like the span of about two, two months about two months so yeah let's jump in okay first one makeup by yolando jam rock palette okay she's an indie brand oh my gosh i already have one of her palettes already the playing and makeup by yolando palette i love that palette the colors everything the pigmentation is just bomb so as soon as you guys see this palette you'll know why i got it <laughs> <laughs> okay ain't no question you know why your girl colorful camille got this palette okay so this is what it looks like absolutely gorgeous beautiful there is a mirror in here as you can see but yeah i had to go ahead and pick this baby up next i have the latest palettes from kaleidos this is how they send their palettes you guys isn't this so cute this is i mean they have the best packaging as far as like shipping and even their palettes are just in the cutest little, you know, packages. It makes you not even want to open it, but honey, you know I'm going to open mine, okay? So anyways, this is their latest collection. Okay, so this is the Futurism 4 and this is the Futurism 5. Let me give you a quick look. So this is what Futurism 4 looks like. Very pretty neon shades, absolutely gorgeous. And this is what Futurism 5 looks like. It has kind of like a turquoise, orangey feel to it. Okay, so next I have here the Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry Palette. I did get this as part of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. It was on sale for half price. But these palettes are gorgeous, you guys. This is what this one looks like. Very pretty. So yeah, I got this one for half price. So when the pineapple one goes back on sale, if it does, I'll probably pick that one up. But yeah, these palettes are gorgeous, okay? It's one thing I can't take away from Too Faced is they packaging is shit popping, okay? Okay, so the next two palettes are ones that are not new by any means, but they're new to me. Because when they first came out, I was too cheap to buy them. Because, <laughs> hey, melt is expensive, okay? And so, yeah. But anyways, I picked up the Melt Gemini and the Melt Smoke Sessions. I, I just had to have them, y'all. I wanted them. I don't care if anybody else likes them or doesn't like them. I wanted them. You know, sometimes it be like that, okay? It might be palettes that other people hate, but you love the color scheme and you want to try it for yourself. That's these two palettes for me, okay? So this one here is the Gemini perfect for fall so I can't wait to test that out myself and you know I learned that with the whole subculture thing because I mean y'all know subculture got dragged from one end of the block to, <laughs> to the other end of the block and I like the subculture palette I like it a lot so anyways this is the smoke sessions 
palette. Very, very pretty, gorgeous, a lot of beautiful shimmers. Um, next, Gimme Glow Vintage Rose. I did a look with this palette. Um, that wasn't one of my favorite looks, but I just wanted to kind of get a feel for the palette. So I do want to do another look with this palette. Oh, so pretty. And just kind of like a beautiful pinky, rosy type look. You know, it's just, oh, this palette is bomb, you guys. If you're thinking about getting it or you're wondering about the quality, amazing. Next, I tried this out already, did a video with this, the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm. I like this palette. Um, there are mixed reviews for a lot of Dominique Cosmetics palettes and stuff, but I like them. I have her Berries and Cream palette as well, and I like that palette no issues with it this is what the celestial storm looks like really really pretty so yeah i do have a video on this if you'd like to check it out i will link it okay next i have a palette that <laughs> could be controversial i don't care though because i buy what i want to buy ain't nobody buying my stuff so don't nobody tell me what i can and can't buy um i bought the morphe and jeffree star collab palette this is the latest one i have not used it yet but it was just something about the color scheme of this palette that just really really got me i don't know what it is but how he laid out this palette and just the shades in here got me so i think this palette is beautiful i am going to use it <laughs> I just don't know when but yeah i am going to use it i did pick this up and i think it's really really cute okay next this palette is uh probably as big as this whole room <laughs> this is the glam light cosmetics paint palette okay now i love art i love art i might not be that good at it but I'm an artiste at heart, okay? And so this palette, when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. Y'all see how big this is? This thing is huge, okay? But it's super, super gorgeous. It's basically a colorful rainbow eyeshadow palette that is in the shape of a palette, okay? <laughs> Which seems like somebody would have done this years ago, quite frankly. You know, it kind of seems like a no-brainer, you know, because we call them palettes but this is what it looks like it has this clear covering here so there's no mirror inside but these are i can't even see <laughs> these are the colors in this palette so so pretty of course you guys know i cannot wait to try this out test it out review it see how it performs but in the box you also get a brush the shape of the brush is not really that appealing to me so i probably won't even use it but yeah this palette is huge and i know i was getting it the moment i saw it there's certain palettes like that for me as soon as i see it drop i'm getting it okay next i picked up a couple of things from the colored rain and power um collab i don't even watch power I have not watched one episode of power this is what the packaging looks like so it's like black and gold i know y'all seen this okay absolutely gorgeous my girl lily did a video lori did a video a lot of other people did a video <laughs> so i'm gonna do a video too i just don't know when but this palette is beautiful okay Y'all know I love purples and blues. If it's purple or blue, I'm feeling it, okay? And this one, I've, I have not seen a bad eye look done with that palette. Now, I also picked up the highlighter and blush duo. They had different ones. I don't know if they had three or four different ones. This is what it looks like. There's a mirror in here. I got my day one, okay? <laughs> so, this is the my day one blush and highlighter duo okay i saw that rich deep color and that deep warm highlighter and i that that none of the other ones even appealed to me so now this is a palette that i used very recently the natasha denona metropolis palette i love this palette it's gorgeous <laughs> 
it's a very pricey palette, but I don't regret not one dime that I spent on this palette, okay? So I did do a video for this if you want to check it out. This is her latest palette, the Metropolis, full of beautiful, warm fall shades, but there's also some really bold blues and greens in here to play with, with all of these golds. I mean, you know, it's getting some mixed reviews as well. Some people... Don't think it's all that. Some people think it's a little too repetitive, honey. I don't, I have two other Natasha Denona palettes and they don't look nothing like this. So I like this palette. Yeah, I kind of had to chill out on ColourPop for a little bit because ColourPop done going crazy. They done lost their mind with all of these releases. I can't even keep up. You know, and then it's like they throwing 5 million different things that's already in their line, in these collections. You don't know if you're getting duplicates, if it's stuff you already got. ColourPop, y'all need to chill, okay? So, I've only purchased two ColourPop palettes in the last few months. <laughs> well, except for the Uh-Huh Honey. I got the Uh-Huh Honey, and it was more like Uh-Uh Honey. So, I did pick up this California Love, which is really not something that I would typically buy. But for some reason that day... The California love had me going, okay? I, um, maybe it's because I'm from Cali. I don't know. But this is what the palette looks like. I mean, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. You know, all of these warm, bronzy, you know, colors in here. It is gorgeous. And you know what? I actually, yeah, this might be in my fall lineup for a couple of videos because I've been wanting to do some fall videos so that might be in my lineup but yeah honey color pop gonna have to take a chill pill and the other palette i got is this so jaded the latest kathleen lights and color pop collab now kathleen lights she be hooking up a palette okay i think i have her other two or at least one i know of her um collabs with color pop and her palettes be bomb, okay? So this is what it looks like. It's called the So Jaded Palette. And, you know, it's just like, there's crystals and, oh, it's so cute. You know, I had mixed feelings when I got this in the mail. <laughs> I did. Because I was like, that ain't as big as I thought it was. Because it's not quite as big as a Morphe palette. And online, that's how it looked to me. It looked like it was going to be as big as a Morphe palette, but it's not. But these are the shades in here. So, so pretty. So, so pretty. And I have used this. Oh my gosh. Very user friendly. I mean, very easy to use. The shades blend out nicely. They're nicely pigmented. This is a nice palette. I like it. Okay. I got a few palettes from the drugstore. Target. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got both of these from Target. Target, I guess, is trying to, you know, step up their game with different makeup brands and different palettes and stuff like that. So I picked this up actually maybe about a month or two ago. This one is by Makeup Obsessions. This is the Belle Jordan palette. This is what it looks like. Nice, cute packaging. And then this is what the inside looks like. There is a mirror in here. And there's a plastic covering, so I don't want to blind you with that. But these are the shades in this palette. This one is from Color Story. I've never heard of this brand. This one is the Mirage Press Pigment Palette. Got this from Target as well. Very cute packaging. I mean, you see the design around that mirror? So cute, okay? And then this is what this one looks like. Sorry about the glare, but I don't want to take the plastic off right now. But look at these colors, you guys. So, so pretty. Gorgeous. I'm talking too much. This video is going to be long. Sorry. Okay. I also got the Juvia's, <laughs> Juvia's latest palette, the Warrior 3. Did a video on this as well. This palette is shipping, y'all. It is gorgeous, first of all. But the pigmentation is... That's, like I said in my video, I'm like, Jimmy, is y'all formula getting better? Because I like it. <laughs> okay, I like it. Look at this palette. Look at it. You cannot like color and not want this palette. I'm sorry. This palette is so pretty. 
Oh my gosh, so pretty, so gorgeous. And I love the look that I was able to create with it. Me, myself, and Mitchell. <laughs> I got his latest palette, okay. Look, y'all know. Colorful palette, your girl is getting it. This palette looks very interesting. It's kind of like, it has one of those where you look at it and you're gonna get dizzy. So yeah, it's, it's very interesting, the packaging. I can't say it's my favorite packaging. It's very thick and bulky because there is a mirror inside. So yeah, it comes with a mirror, a double-sided mirror inside the palette. And there's a magnet in there for it to, you know, stick to. But this is Mitchell's palette. So it's two-sided, you know, it's, it's one piece, two-sided. These are the colors in there. I'm trying not to blind you because I really don't want to take the plastic off of this right now. But, y'all, nice, beautiful, red, orangey, warm side with your yellows and your golds. Beautiful, cool tone side with your blues and your purples and, you know, some brown, black. Keep it cool. Keep it warm. I like it. I like how he laid out this palette with the two separate sides because you know you can either mix them up together and go full-on colorful or you could do something warm or something cool whatever your preference is so i like it and i can't wait to try it out i'm really curious about the formula on this i've never purchased any makeup from beauty bay before so i don't know how their stuff is but we'll see these haul videos are exhausting <laughs> first world problems okay okay so next I have a collection of palettes this is from the beauty crop their latest little collection of palettes it's the essential cocktail palette book set so this is what it looks like it looks like a cute little book set this reminds me when I was little you know and your mom used to buy you those little book sets they had all the little nursery rhymes or something in them so cute so anyways this is what the cover looks like this is what they look like in a little set. Too cute. Okay, too cute. Okay, the first one, Pina Colada. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'm going to cock it to the side so that the glare doesn't blind you. But uh, y'all see this palette right here. <laughs> Yeah, you know your girl can't wait to get in this mug, okay? The next one is Mojito. Mojito! And they all have this kind of like, what is it called? When the light, the color shifts on the light. This is what this palette looks like. Yes, I'm turning it to the side a little bit so I don't blind you. I don't know how to do it without blinding you, but this is, I know somebody out there yelling, just take the plastic off. No, I'm not taking the plastic off. I don't want to. This is what it looks like, okay? I mean, just beautiful, beautiful colors in here. Blues and greens. Pretty. Sangria. So this is the Sangria palette. Really, really cute. And I'm sorry, y'all. I don't remember how much I paid for this. It was on sale. So I got a really good deal on these. My girl, Lily. <laughs> Why my friends be contributing to my addiction, okay? Forever up in my messages. Hey, y'all see this? Y'all see that? I know I can't say nothing because I'd be doing the same thing. But this is what <laughs> this is what the sangria looks like. Very pretty blues and purples. I hope it's not too much glare because I am not taking the plastic off. And this is the strawberry daiquiri. Okay, strawberry daiquiri. Ew. Very very pink. It looks like they all have, you know, like a pressed glitter, shimmers, mattes. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. <laughs> and I'm not a pink person, but this is pretty. So anyways, those are all the palettes in this cocktail collection. Very, very cute. Okay, so next I have some foundations that I want to show you. Just my latest six foundations that I purchased to try out. And I'll just kind of tell you if I like them or not. The Fenty Beauty. This one is the Pro Filter Hydrating Formula. I love this foundation. Love it. I mean, the coverage is great. It lasts all day. It gave me a beautiful, healthy glow when I used it. 
I like this foundation a lot, way better than the matte one. And if you guys know me, you know I'm a matte girl. So that Fenty, I love it. I also tried out the NYX Born to Glow. This is the natural, what does it say? Naturally Radiant Foundation, <laughs> which is confusing to me because this foundation is matte the house, okay? This foundation is more matte on me than some of my matte foundations. So I don't know if it's just Born to Glow because it does give you like a healthy glow, but you still it's still a matte finish. I'm thinking that's what it is. Because it does give you a nice little glow, but this stuff is matte. So don't be confused and buy this thinking that you're going to be dewy. This ain't dewy. <laughs> it's not. But I do like it. Amazing coverage. Amazing coverage. This Sephora Matte Perfection Foundation. I was very surprised at this foundation. I like it. It is very matte. It lasts all day. This is, a, I think it does claim full coverage and long lasting. Yep. It lasts all day it is very matte but this is some serious coverage you guys if you haven't tried some of Sephora's products this foundation is not bad I really wanted to try it and I'm glad I did this L'Oreal infallible 24-hour <laughs> fresh wear or whatever I just tried this okay I don't hate it it's not horrible but it might be going back to the store I just no. <laughs> I don't need to have this in my collection and it's funny because my girl Lily, she she was like you're not gonna like that you're not gonna like it but I had to try for myself and yeah I don't like it I don't like it. I know people love it that's why I had to try it because people love it not me I don't like it now I picked up another NYX can't stop won't stop you guys know already I love this foundation I'm trying out another color though because the one that I have is dark <laughs> it is dark so I picked up Cappuccino to try out and see if I like this shade better on me, and I think I will. This foundation is bomb, though. One of my top three. One of my top three. I like the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And I also picked up the Estee Lauder Double Wear for the first time. I had to try it out, you know, spend a little quaint, okay? So I did pick this up during the Sephora sale to try it out and this stuff is amazing. I like it. I don't be using it because this is my fancy foundation, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I got that. Now I have a whole basket of just miscellaneous makeup that's not palettes that I want to just kind of speed through because it's a lot. So I'm just going to show it to you, tell you where I got it from and keep it pushing. Okay, now during the 21 days of Ulta Beauty, they always get me because, you know, since you get free shipping, if you buy a sale product, you want to throw a few other extra items in there because you're getting free shipping. So, it's very smart of them to do that. Anyways, this Ulta Beauty Mattifying Face Primer, I got this to try it out because I've never tried out any Ulta Beauty products before. So, I did get this to try out. It is... Um, supposed to control shine and blue your blur your pores I definitely feels feel like it blurs my pores as far as controlling shine I'm still testing that out so I'm not sure about that but it is kind of like that slippery silicone type primer so if you don't like that then you're probably not gonna like this but I don't mind it at all now this I actually picked up from Amazon this is a black radiance rich mahogany face powder i don't know you guys i'm going through a phase right now where i want to try out every single raved about powder for black women because i'm on a mission to find my perfect face powders setting powders bronzers contours just finishing powders whatever i'm on a mission to find the best ones for black women and so i got this because i've heard several uh, beauty youtubers talk about this they love it it's great so I'm gonna try that out going back to Sephora I did pick up a couple more items from them I got this one of their blushes Sephora brand blush and this one is in the color snapdragon I have used this in one of my videos before so you may have seen it very very pretty it's a gorgeous pink blush I also picked up some of their micro smooth finishing powder okay yes your girl andrea renee <laughs> talks about this so much that she got me to pick it up i did try it i like it i like it a lot this stuff is nice 
Okay, so yeah, another Sephora brand product. This Hula Toasted Bronzer from Benefit. Yeah, this stuff gets rave reviews, okay? I did pick this up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. This is the color on this. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. I have used it and I like it. <laughs> okay, a few more items I picked up from the drugstore or Ulta. Um, during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, I did pick up some more Nor No Pore Blum Primer. I first got this in my BoxyCharm, I believe, and I like this stuff, you guys. It is a pore filling primer. I like this stuff a lot. I love how it feels on my skin. It's nice and smooth. I wouldn't say that this fills in my pores a lot, but I like how this feels on my skin, <laughs> so I like it. Also, I got from Ulta this Revolution Beauty Better Skin Care, Better Makeup, Aloe Vera and Water Lily Soothing Face Mask. Mouthful. So this is what the box looks like. And, and this is what the bottle looks like. So this is supposed to be a really nice soothing face mask. And I'm here for it. It's vegan and cruelty free. And I can't wait to try this out, okay? It just, it looks so refreshing. Yeah, I can't wait to try it out. Y'all know I'm a, a face mask freak. <laughs> so that got me like real easily. From Sally Beauty Supply, I'm all over the place, y'all, sorry. From Sally Beauty Supply, I wanted to try out the Collab Concealer. I've tried out the Collab Foundation, didn't really care for it, so I'm not sure exactly why I felt the need to try the concealer. <laughs> But I did, and you guys will find out how I feel about this. It's it's a decent concealer. It is. I really don't have any complaints about it. I chose the wrong color. It's too light for me. But as far as coverage and blendability goes, it's really not bad. It's really a decent concealer. Also from Sally, I got this Bubble Vitamin C Sheet Mask. Wanted to try this out. So it's a bubbling sheet mask. And... They were on sale, I think, for a couple of bucks. Now, back to Ulta, I did go ahead and grab uh, one of the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealers. This one, as you can see, is too light, and I'm not happy about it. I haven't decided if I'm going to try and exchange it or if I'm just going to use this as like a, a base for my eyeshadow. But this CoverGirl Concealer is bomb, you guys, and I wish I had picked the right shade because I got to get another one now. <laughs> Also, um, I've been using this in my last few videos. This is a Revolution Pro Highlighter Quad. This is the Supreme Highlighter Palette. This is what these highlighters look like, you guys, and very, very nice. I've only used the darker one because that's all that appeals to me. <laughs> I have it on today, so you can kind of see. <sighs> it kind of gives you just that nice, soft glow give you a little bit of a, a just a nice soft a nice soft glow just looks like the lights hitting you okay also I picked up another essence lip gloss <laughs> so this one is in the color 02 which is smile sparkle shine so I really like essence glosses and this one has a little bit of a pink hue to it so I got that I picked up another NYX matte liquid liner I like this stuff, you guys. The applicator is long and thin. It just makes applying eyeliner across, you know, really close to your lash line and giving you a quick little wing. It makes it super easy and it dries matte too and it's jet black. I like it, like it, like it, like it. Um, also, I think I got this from Amazon, actually. This is a Black Radiance blush. I know that I like Black Radiance blushes already because they have a really pretty berry toned one that I like, but it seems like they kind of get hard pan and I don't understand why, but I wanted to try this one out. This is Toasted Almond. I did try it out <laughs> and I love it, okay? I love it. So this is what the Toasted Almond shade looks like. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful shade. I'm always looking for colors that kind of add a flush of color, but it's not super harsh. Cause you guys know I love color. So I'll throw on a, a red, pink or purple 
blush in a hot second but sometimes i just want a flush of color that kind of blends in really nicely with my contour and my bronzer and colors like this do that along with the elf one that i like always spicy they just kind of blend in with your bronzer and your contour a little bit easier so yeah i really 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 like that blush also picked up another jcat luxe banana powder aside from my collab loose setting powder this is the only yellow tone powder that i like because it doesn't look yellow it just it brightens me up but it doesn't look yellow so like that i also picked me up another morphe continuous setting spray okay <laughs> so got me a backup of that and i also saw this when i was at target from this brand CAI. I'm not familiar with them at all, but I noticed that my Target has a lot of their products on the shelf. And this, I just wanted to try something out from them. So I got this blush palette. I actually have a foundation and concealer from them as well. The concealer I don't like at all. And I'm a little bit scared to try the foundation, but this, I'm gonna try this out and see how I feel about it and that will decide whether or not i'm going to return those items because yeah i don't like keeping i used to keep all the makeup that i bought whether i liked it or not whether it was the right shade or not i used to just keep everything i don't do that anymore because you know i spend a lot of money on makeup and if it's not going to work for me i don't want that money just going to waste so yeah if, if something doesn't work for me after i try it the first time then i try to take it back now because it's just it's too much okay juvia's place now you guys saw that i bought the juvia's warrior 3 palette i did order the last palette too that that warm neutral palette <laughs> i ordered that also because i have all of her palettes so i have to keep my collection intact and I actually saw some swatches of that palette. That palette is kind of pretty. So anyways, I did order that, but I don't have it yet. But in my last Juvia's order, I did order a few things during the sale. I picked up the Empress Lip Collection. And this is Madame. So this is what the box looks like. And let me show you what these lipsticks look like. There's a metallic one in here and there's a matte one in here. But you guys see the colors on that? So stinking pretty. So pretty really but yeah you guys these colors are so pretty oh my gosh i can't wait to try these out i'm surprised i haven't used them already but yeah i'm gonna be using these real soon i need to leave these out also i got this matte lipstick from the uh, freak collection this is what the packaging looks like i love juvia's packaging and artistry so this is just a really really bold red lipstick i believe it is a liquid matte yeah really really bold red <laughs> lipstick and yeah so I, I have to be in the mood to wear this okay but i sure enough will and i also picked up their concealer if you've watched any of my last few videos you know that because i did try this out during the sale and i wish i would have bought more during the sale because I like this concealer the coverage is crazy and it blends out really really nice and this tone the color and tone that's something that's very very important to me when it comes to my concealers because I just don't like them to be too bright but I do like the tone to be warm a warm tone and this is perfect this is number 11 so if you want to know what color I love is number 11 and so I got that and then I also picked up Fumi's makeup bag okay I wasn't gonna get it but during the sale I looked at it and it was just like oh Fumi and so I went ahead and grabbed it support my girl Fumi and I picked up her makeup bag so you guys know it just kind of opens up like this it's really cute it's really pretty gorgeous red shade and it has Fumi's face on the cover so I did get that okay so a few other items that i have picked up you guys know if you've watched any of my recent videos that i did pick up minted duo bronzer and highlighters um, with their collab with 
Ashley Blaine Featherson. So I did pick up both of these. Let me show you what they look like. They're already in my makeup collection. So there are two duos to choose from. They're called Season 1, Season 2. This is Season 1, and they do come with this beautiful, shiny, rose gold packaging. I'm tilting it to the side, so of course I don't blind you. But yeah, there is a mirror inside, and this is what Season 1 looks like if you haven't seen it already and then I'll show you season two I love these you guys they are perfect for bronzing contour very very brown girl friendly the highlighters are nice and soft they're not harsh at all they just give you that nice soft glow so I like those a lot both of those are in my main makeup collection right now I also got sent these lip glosses <laughs> Uh, I don't know if it was just a nice special gift that they gave me or if they sent them to me on accident but <laughs> either way I got them the two lip glosses that came in the collection they come in these cute little boxes as well these aren't really necessary Sara Lee colors that I would choose I don't wear brown lipstick um, but I tried this on and it's a brown gloss and I feel like it would actually look really nice with like a warm fall eye look. Like if I did something with like brown and black, a nice smoky look with some gold. And then this one is the gold one. So that's what the gold gloss looks like, if you can see that. So they're both glosses, but one is brown and one is gold. And they're actually very pretty, but if I just saw these online, I wouldn't buy them. I would skip over them because they're not my style, but they're actually, actually kind of pretty. Two other powders that I picked up recently. This one is from Kiss Professional. I did get this from my local beauty supply, and it's just, it's really nice. It looks really, really good to set my makeup, and so... I like it very very nice and then from Amazon I picked up this full spectrum from CoverGirl this is the one that is in ebony I mean I've heard so many people talk about this bronzer from CoverGirl that I just had to get it and so this is actually more of like a contour type shade for me it's a little bit deep for a bronzer for me but I love using it because Kind of as a contour on my cheeks because it's warm and I know contour contours are supposed to be cool tone because it's supposed to cast a shadow but I'm sorry I like a warm shadow okay I don't like a cool tone shadow I just don't so something like this works really nicely for me because it's dark but it's warm I did pick up another colored rain lipstick when I bought my power collection after I got those pretty shades in my mystery box from Colored Rain, I wanted to look and see if they had some other nice shades on sale because I didn't get any of the power lipsticks. This one is in the shade Boudoir. Now, if you're not familiar with Colored Rain's packaging for their lipsticks, it looks like this. Very cute. And I actually used this color, I think, in one of my last videos. But this color, y'all so so pretty and it's just like it has fall written all over it but yeah I think I used that in one of my latest videos so pretty I'm so happy I got that and you guys I've already shown all of these um makeup revolution lipsticks that I got from their pro line but I will show them again so these are the colors that I have the red one on the bottom is the newest one it's just a classic red but these are the lipsticks and they are like super velvety, super smooth, super comfortable, super pigmented. Honey, I love these lipsticks, okay? <sighs> okay, BH Cosmetics. What's a haul without some BH Cosmetics stuff in it, okay? Because you know BH Cosmetics is having a sale all the... They having a sale right now, I guarantee that. I bet some money right now BH Cosmetics is having a sale. <laughs> So I picked up this bronzer, okay, and I looked at it. It's a satin finish bronzer, and it's, does this have a shade on it? I know this ain't no one size fits all. Coco Cutie, okay, so <laughs> oh, the packaging is cute, okay, but this is what the bronzer looks like. I looked at it, I think, and I was like, 
I don't even know if I can use this as a face powder. But it does have a cute little mirror in here. But this is the color of this bronzer in Coco Cutie. And I think this is the darkest one they have. Correct me if I'm wrong. But honey. 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 This ain't gonna bronze nothing on me. Okay, like I said. I'm just... I might be able to use it to set my other eyes, but I don't know. I, don't, I think it was only a couple of dollars, so I ain't tripping. I also picked up a couple of their, these beautiful uh, eye toppers. Their eye lights. Yeah, these are like, you know, eyeshadow toppers. Oh my gosh, look at these colors, y'all. I'm not going to take them out. So pretty. Okay. And like I needed any more brushes, I picked up two brush sets. This one is the Studio Pro 13 piece brush set. This one I'm not here. gonna take all of these out of their individual wrappers because that's just that's too much. But we'll just take a look at the fan brush since it's already in a little clear thing. But this is what the brushes look like. They have that multicolored hair with a white tip and I love that. For some reason, I love the way this type of brush look. Ooh, that's soft. <laughs> I love the way that type of brush looks. It's just something about that multicolor bottom and the white top. I really like white tops on brushes also because I can see how much product I'm picking up. Like if, for example, if I use a brush like this, yeah, it's a really cute brush, but I might not know exactly how much product I'm picking up on this brush because of this orange tip. You know what I mean? Like, I might pick up way too much powder, bronzer, blush, whatever, because the tip is already colored. This is a clean brush, not used. So I tend to kind of steer away from the colored tip brushes now. I really like white tip brushes because it lets me know exactly how much product I'm picking up. But just in case you're curious about this brush set, these are all the brushes that come in this set. So if you want to, you know, do a quick screen pause just to see what's in this set, you can. And the other brush set I got is this Crystal Quartz 12-piece brush set with cosmetic case. I have purchased this set before and I actually gave it away. I, you know, I bought it because I liked it and I wanted it, but I like giving stuff away too, so I actually gave my other one away, so I decided to buy it again. <laughs> and knowing me, I might give it away again, but this is what the case looks like. Isn't it so pretty? It's all iridescent, snake skin. It's so freaking cute. But you open it up and the brushes are inside. And so this is what this brush set looks like. So it's beautiful, has that pretty shiny rose gold ferrule. And as you can see, these brushes have white tips also. So very, very pretty brush set. I think they're super duper cute. And let me see if, yeah, this one, it doesn't have a picture of all the brushes like the other one does, but it does have a list on here. So if you want to just pause the screen and see which brushes are in this set if you're curious. So yeah, in addition to palettes being my weakness, brushes are my weakness. So, but you know what? I love Andrea Renee. I love her channel, okay? She probably young enough to be my daughter, but she is just cute as a little button, okay? I love Andrea Renee's channel. She just always has the best suggestions and products and stuff. I Anything that I buy that she suggested, I usually like. So Andrea has her own brush set with Peach and Pearl. Now, I don't remember exactly how much I paid for these brushes because there is a conversion rate, but it was probably about 30 bucks. Now her set only has six brushes in it. It has four face brushes and two eye brushes. It does come with um, like a, what do you call it? a small blending brush and a small um, eyeliner brush, but she has four face brushes. I did take the powder brush <laughs> out of the little uh, sleeve just because I wanted to feel it. It's so nice and soft, you guys. These are some really, really nice quality brushes. You can tell like just looking at how nice and neat 
you know this brush is it's just really really nice quality so yeah i'm gonna support my girl andrea so i went ahead and picked up her brushes you know i can support all these other major brands that ain't trying to help nobody out so i went ahead and bought her set and i'm really really happy i did i can't wait to play around with it sometimes i buy things you know to decorate my beauty space i just you know that's just me I'm a girly girl, okay? And so, that's really why I wanted these brushes. Not so much to use them, like, for them to be the best quality brushes and all that. I really just bought them because I like how they look. Let me show y'all these brushes. This is what they look like. So, they have really pretty glittery handles the glitter is actually infused in the handle it's not the type of glitter that moves around which i'm fine with because i don't care about that <laughs> i just wanted some glittery handles but i thought they were so cute so i'm happy i'm happy i got my little glitter brushes if i find some that i like more than these then that i want to buy to actually use then i will do so but I like them. I think they're cute. So I'm going to find me a cute little glass vase and put these in them somewhere in my beauty space. Okay, and just a few more items. I picked up these off of AliExpress. Y'all, I buy makeup from everywhere. AliExpress, Amazon, Sephora, <laughs> Target, Walgreens. I don't care. If it's makeup, I'm going to buy it. But I saw these on their website. And what it is, is they're like loose pigment shadows. But they're supposed to, you know, have like the color shifting powder in them. So I'm not going to open all of these right now because that would just be too much for me. But if you look through the wrapper, you can kind of see how with these shadows, the colors kind of, you know, have a shift in them. So let me just take one out. The coloring is really super pretty. So you can see this one has a purple and a turquoise. Can you see that? Purple and turquoise. Really, really gorgeous. gorgeous. And like I said, I only paid like a, a dollar or two for these just to play around with them, you know, because these type of eyeshadows from the indie brands are like mad expensive. So I figured I'd just grab a couple from AliExpress, play around with them, see if I even like them before I spend like 20 or $30 on one single <laughs> eyeshadow that I'm probably gonna use twice. Also from Amazon, you guys, look, I don't know if you guys have seen on Instagram those ads where it's like the magnetic eyeliner and eyelashes that go with it. Look, y'all know how I feel about false eyelashes. I think they're gorgeous. I don't have anything against them, but honey, I don't have time to be fighting with no lashes. It's just, it's too hard for me, okay? It is. <laughs> so, you know, I do. I be looking for easier ways to put them on. So I want to try out this little magnetic lash kit for you guys, okay? So it comes with the magnetic eyeliner the magnetic lashes and the mag or not magnetic tool but the tool you know this one is from the brand dior is it dior verde miss lashes this is what the box looks like m5 lashes magnetic eyeliner and eyelashes so i don't know i probably paid about 19.99 for this or something but let me just show you uh what these lashes look like so i don't want to open this up this is a magnetic eyeliner and I was reading the instructions and they've like, look, if you need get this inside your eye, you need to go to the hospital immediately. <laughs> so that's kind of scary to me because usually they'll say, oh, rinse your eye out, keep an eye on it. If it stays irritated, then go to the doctor. No, this mug says if you get this eyeliner in your eyes, you need to go to the emergency room immediately. Okay, so that kind of scares me. But anyways this is the little holder for the lashes there's a mirror in there which is really cute but this is the style of lashes that comes with the magnetic eyeliner that i got so they look pretty long so i'm assuming that i can trim them to my desired size if need be but i don't know you guys i want to test this out in a video let me know down below if you want to see me test this out i know y'all just want to make fun of me and watch me have to rush to the emergency room <laughs> 
But anyway, so I got these from Amazon to play around with. Lastly, you guys, we finally on the home stretch. Thank God, because I'm tired, I'm thirsty, and I'm hot, okay? <sighs> Elf. Elf is forever having a 50% off sale, at least every couple of months or something. So I try to stock up on stuff that I know that I like to use that I need during the 50% sale. And typically they don't put their new stuff on sale. So I'll grab a couple of new things as well. But during the last Elf sale, I did pick up one of their ultra precise uh, eyebrow pencils. I've never tried one of their eyebrow pencils because I already have my favorite and I don't need to switch. So I did try this out. It's a decent eyebrow pencil. It really is. I don't like it better than the one I currently use, which is my LA Girl Slim Shady. So this is not something that I feel the need to purchase again. No. I did pick up a couple of their liquid eyeliners. This is the Expert Liquid Eyeliner in Jet Black. So I did grab a couple of these because you guys know I use black liquid eyeliner like it ain't no tomorrow. I also picked up another one of their e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizers. This is the one that I keep in my bathroom on my sink. I use this on a regular basis all the time. So I did get me one of those. One of the new products that I wanted to try out is this e.l.f. Keep Your Balance Hydrating Toner. So I wanted to try this out just to kind of see if I like it, if it, you know, does anything different than my current toner, and just see how it works. So I did pick that up. I am not really drawn to any of their new Jelly Pop products, but of course I wanted to try one of their Juicy Glosses because I do love a good lip gloss. So I grabbed one of their Jelly Pop Juicy Glosses, and this is Apricot Pop. So I'll see how that is. I'm just kind of curious to see if it's sticky actually because I don't like sticky lip gloss. And so I want to know if there's a sticky or not. I did pick up an e.l.f. highlighting brush which was on sale for half price. I also picked up this new e.l.f. matte blotting mist. This is what it looks like. You have to shake it up because I see stuff in there. But this is what it looks like. So it's supposed to be a matte blotting mist like a matte mist is supposed to refresh your face give you a nice matte look without you having to touch up um i guess it's supposed to soak up extra oils or whatever let me see i may as well try it out right now honey because i see i got a little bit of a glow <laughs> okay turn my fan off Mm, I still look glowy. Am I supposed to blot? <laughs> it didn't mattify me, but uh, it smells funny too. I don't, I don't, I don't, man. This stuff, mm -mm, that smell alone will keep me from buying this again. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I don't know. Jury's still out. And then lastly, I just re-upped on two products that I really didn't need to buy. I bought some more of my primer infused bronzer, constantly bronzed, because I love using this as a setting powder for my face. And I got another one of my primer infused blush in Always Spicy. This is the one I was talking about earlier that is a great blush. I got a backup of that as well during the 50% off sale. I mean, you know, like three bucks or whatever. You may as well stock up during a 50% off sale, right? So anyways, that's it, you guys. That is everything from my haul, okay? I, I That's it. That's it. I'm officially on a low buy. I refuse to say no buy because I'm sorry. I can't do it. But I'm officially on a low buy, so that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you stuck and hung out with me until the end of this video you are the real mvp honey because this was a doozy i'm exhausted i'm ready to go take a nap so anyways thanks for watching and i will see you on my next video toodles